You know, I have to really commend each of you for wanting to better yourself, to pursue your dreams, whether it's law enforcement or a doctor or a paramedic or a, whatever it is, just go out and do it. Just don't talk about it. Go out and do it. Stay out of trouble. Come to classes like this. You can reach those dreams. You can get your own car, or your own house, things of that nature. So set your goals. Find out what it's going to take to reach those goals and go get, go get them. When the Community and Senior Services Department decided to look into a program with L.A. County Sheriff's Department, it was because the Sheriff's Department wanted to do something about hiring young people from the communities that they serve. This program, the Sheriff's Mentorship Program, is designed to bring youth from the local community in and um, get them comfortable with law enforcement so they can understand um, us as an individual and realize that just because we're in uniform and have a badge that we're still human. To incentivize the program, we layered this with our the LA County Youth Jobs Program, um, which is headed by the Community and Senior Services. Uh, and we were able to create a paid internship for all the youth participants that were there. This came on the heels of the My Brother's Keeper initiative that the county board unanimously signed off on. I hope the youth get a, uh, a tangible idea of what it is that we do as law enforcement officers. I would like to see uh, youth just like myself. I started when I was 19 years old. Uh, I would like to see them follow the same path that it took uh, me to get to where I am today. Next week we'll start the actual curriculum and we start to look at what, what things do they have, what, what blocks do they have in their lives that are holding them back. If you really want to do this job, really consider why you want to do it. If you're going to be here to make a difference in your community, be here to make a difference in your community. Really have your heart be in the right place. Do it from that place. Do it from a higher place of consciousness. Don't do it just because it's a job. I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the day, you guys go through the academy. What you get from the academy will be your own personal accomplishment. It'll be doing something as a team. I'm a true believer and you have to have passion for this job. Um, you should never take the job just because you know, it, just, it just pays well because that's not going to get you through. There, believe it or not, you have to do some things on your own time. There are laws that you have to study on your own time. I can't tell you how many days I had to go into work on my days off to uh, make sure that I was squared away so uh, my partner can rely on me. You guys could be s starting movements right now. If there's something you don't agree with in politics, in culture, don't be the yes guy. Don't be the guy that just goes along with it. Leadership, service, 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 service. Help somebody else. Go help clean someone's yard. Be about service, be about your community, be about making a difference. And I guarantee you, everything that you want to do will show up for you. I do know that um, a lot of the kids in the class are from disadvantaged neighborhoods and I feel, I, you know, I think it's a good thing that they're coming here and taking the time out of their day. Five times a day for the next week, mm -hmm. I will look in the mirror and just smile. People only do to us what we allow them to do. And just because you smile doesn't give them permission to harm you, okay? So know that, and maybe your smile actually makes someone else not want to harm someone else. I know it's gonna be uncomfortable for you. Just smile, all right? Five people? Yes, five times a day. Five times a day, and then to yourself. That's your smile right there. Okay, that, see, that's I your, did it. That's your smile right there. See, that's one. Got four more to go. <laughs> All right. I want to be a computer scientist, I want to be a nonprofit organization owner, um, I want to like pe help people in need around the country, like feed the hunger and everything. Um, and I want to, oh yeah, my primary goal ever since I was a kid, I want to help improve the LAUSD um, public education system. That's what I really want to do too. Do them all. Do them all. And do them all powerfully. Today we did ATV riding. It's more of a concept. We got to learn how to ride it, what not to do, what to do, how to turn. It brought back memories. I mean, from the first time I was riding ATVs, so once I went through the practices, we got good at it. Today was a good day. I enjoyed riding the bikes and 
coming to Kofu with my new friends. Today we had a job fair which was very informative. There were many departments that came out to talk to us and inform us on the career paths that we can embark on if we choose to. They let us know information that we didn't know before. They verified things that we had questions about and they were very helpful. I feel like today was very helpful because there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know that when I came here I found out. Overall they actually motivated us to do something different and that really motivated me to do more. Today we had a physical training. We did a mile and a half. I came in the first place. I motivated myself. I wanted to quit, but I kept telling myself, you're not a quitter, you're not a quitter, so you gotta keep going, keep strong, stay strong. This is the warm-up. I'm gonna get you guys warm. Knees up, knees up, all the way. Three burpees. All the way down, all the way up. One. You don't have to sprint it, but you do have to finish it. Everybody kind of has a dream or a picture of what their life can be, sort of the good things that can happen. And some of us even go a step further and are thoughtful about it and start setting some goals. And that's really what a life plan is. It's putting your goals down in writing and setting them on a timeline. In five to 10 years from now, I see myself being a homicide detective. It's always been um, a passion of mine because I love to just solve mysteries and help people in the process. In five to 10 years, I see myself in the FBI agency working as an agent, as well as owning a nonprofit organization that helps unprivileged communities, especially in like public LAUSD school districts. I want to be a deputy sheriff someday and enforce the laws, keep crime off the streets. In five to 10 years from now, I see myself as a sheriff deputy. I also see myself after serving four years in the Navy. I'm in five to ten years to now, I see myself being a uh, police officer or a sheriff, and I see myself doing good with my life. I also, you know, have family in law enforcement, and I've seen the change they were making in their lives growing up in the same environment I did, and it motiv motivated me to want to become a part of law enforcement as well. Five to a decade from now, um, I will be in my office, my suite slash office working on probably sketching out the design of a car or making a deal with some car company on how to better improve fuel efficiency so the world is less polluted. In five to ten years from now, I see myself as being a successful deputy sheriff for the Los Angeles Sheriff Department. What I've learned so far is uh, having hope and, you know, striving for greatness. This generation, they're the ones that are going to have to really do the work. So to see a group open like this and see, to see them gathered in a space such as this, knowing that they're all here to better themselves, it's just beautiful. It's just really, really beautiful. Continue on the positive direction that you're headed. This is positive. Better yourself so you can better the community, so you can better other individuals in the community. And, and we are so proud that you are here. Many people see us as minorities. Some say that we're stuck in the hood and that there's no way of getting out. We are all categorized and we're always put down. And they tell us there's no, that we shouldn't make an effort to change. But being part of this program, we had hope. If I wake up on a negative note thinking that I'm lazy, I am worthless, I am ugly, then 
that's how people will perceive me. But if I wake up on a positive note, like, yeah, I'm smart, I'm attractive, I'm cool, then that's how my attitude will most likely play out for that day. I would like to thank you, Sergeant Terry, for always offering me a helping hand and pushing me to be the best in everything that I do. I also would like to thank Deputy Douglas for always being receptive to any questions that I had and also taking us ATV riding. So before I end my message, I would like not to only smile to each and every one of you, <laughs> um, but I would like to leave you with this quote. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change, Wayne Dyer. We're the foundation of creating a better tomorrow. As youth in the community, there's so much more that we can do to become better and help lead the younger ones into the correct path. We are the first class. Thank you.